I'm debating on whether or not I honestly want to post this. I don't know. I'm not going live for a reason because I'm going to really try not to like lose my stuff. But So I'm on my way to get my daughter right now and it's all cloudy and rainy and I'm in my feels and I just kind of wanted to like explain from my perspective these whole like back to school issues where parents are frustrated and struggling with the online stuff and they're just like I just want my kids to go to school like get them out of my hair for eight hours you know and I understand the struggle especially when you know your kids are older they're getting your hair I get it I've got three kids I've been to the point where I'm just like, they can just all go to their dad's for the weekend and I'm okay with it. Like, I need a break. Everyone needs a break. So this is not bashing on anybody, okay? I get to see all of these back to school pictures on Facebook. And it really starts hitting home that my oldest is going to be starting kindergarten. She doesn't make the cutoff this year. Her birthday's October 29th. She'll be five. I can't believe it. It's been five years already. But when she starts kindergarten next year, her dad and I have 50-50 custody legally. However, because of the distance that we live apart from each other, um, when she hits school, she has to live in one school district and so the court decided that he would have primary care after she starts kindergarten so what that means is as soon as she starts school I only get to see her technically according to our plan every other weekend And this may seem obvious, but that's four days, four days in a month that I will get to see my daughter. Now, her dad has been amazing about this and, you know, he is chasing his dreams and opening his store and he's pretty set in staying there. I'm pretty set in staying where I'm at because I'm three years into my career and doing really well. And he's willing to do whatever it takes so I can see her more than just four days in a month. But we have to sit back and be adults and realize that, you know, we have to think about what's going to be best for her. Is it going to be best for her to be in a car for the three hour drive every single weekend or every other weekend or, you know, what? And we're still in the middle of deciding all that. But... I kind of wanted to put into perspective some of you who are like, yes, school is starting and I, and I get rid of my kids for a whole eight hours a day. But just understand that there's people out there that are dreading school starting because of the fact that they don't get to see their kids. It's been something that's been really, really hard for me. That's my baby. And how do you go from giving birth to her and having her every day, every single day, to then having to share her, which is great, which is fine. We do every other week, so I have her for a week, and then he has her for a week, and that's working out so well for us, but how do you go from that to only seeing her four days out of a whole month? So you're put in this position where you have to decide are you only going to see your daughter for four days out of the month or are you going to uproot your boys 
and move them closer to their sister, but at the same time, you're moving them away from their dad. So we're gonna have to deal with the same thing in a couple years when they start school and he's gonna have to make the decision, Do does he move his daughter closer? It's just, it's a big mess and we're one big mixed family and I'm so glad that we get along the way that we do, but geographically, we're so far apart and it just really sucks. So, when you get frustrated about doing these online classes and this, um, this learning from home and you get excited that it's time to start school and push your kids out the door. There's a lot of people out there and I know I'm not the only one. There's a lot of people out there that would take homeschooling over anything that would love to have their kids home all day, every day. There's people out there that wish and pray that school doesn't come for their own selfish reasons, I know, and I get that, because I don't want, I don't want my daughter to grow up thinking that I don't want to see her and that I don't want to be near her. And I don't want to end up making the wrong decision. And have her grow up thinking that I'm choosing a job and my boys over her. And at the same time, I don't want my boys to grow up and think that I just took them away from their dad. just going through some stuff you guys and I have a whole year I have a whole year until this actually goes down but it's like all these back to school pictures have really got me in my feels and just appreciate what you have that's all I'm gonna say and it's gonna work out it always does and this is not the worst that I've been through <laughs> at all by any means but Life isn't easy sometimes, and sometimes life wants to to test you, see how what you can handle and how strong you are. So I'm just taking it as another test, and I hope I pass it, and I hope everything works out, but I guess we'll see next August. And she's so smart already. She's already writing her name and writing mommy and daddy and... She can count to 20, she can, she knows all of her colors, and she's so freaking smart, and she should be in kindergarten this year, honestly. I wish that they didn't have, like, that cut off. For her, it would be super amazing. For me, not so much. But that's what comes with parenting, right? You get to put your selfish needs and wants aside and really focus on their development and making sure that they're okay and they're good. Oh, all right, guys. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to post this. And if I do, don't laugh at me. I don't like crying and I don't like crying in front of people. But gosh, some things are just too heavy to handle. And they're too heavy to handle by yourself, which is good that I have like the support that I do from certain family members and of course Rich and some friends that I've got. Just know that if you're ever struggling with anything, I always, always have a shoulder to lean on. I am a good listener. I don't know if I give the best advice, but <laughs> I can sure listen and I know sometimes for me if I can just vent and kind of like word vomit it all out I feel a lot better afterwards so just know that if you're ever in a hard place whether it has to do with kids or just your mental health or anything like that I'm here for you and honestly I hope that you take that into consideration because I don't know how many nights that I've cried myself to sleep or how many days where I just want to quit my job and run away and just 
move to a different state and not tell anyone where I'm going. But I always push through and I would never wish that feeling on anybody. So I definitely am here for you. And um, yeah, if you need to talk, get a hold of me. I'm gonna hop off here and make the decision whether or not I'm gonna post this. It might be weeks from now, it might be a couple hours, I don't know, it might be never. <laughs> but I do say that I feel better just being able, being able to like get it out, get it out there. But thanks for listening to my ramble. If you hung in this far, <laughs> I don't blame you if you didn't though. We'll catch you later.